record, even though we've got people coming in, but I can manage that. Hello! Hi, Hi. Kimmy! Australian friends. Hi, guys. Hey. Oh, we've got Hi. a nice audience here today. Um, They're all Mr. mine! Say that again, Claire. They're all my team. We have. They we, are, we have, too. We have, I, I would, I think we've got, we got Shona, who would be oh, our team. Yeah. But any, we got the recording anyway, so if you're watching the recording, I want you to see you live on this next time, yeah? Don't be a recorder. What, recorder this is like watching that, what was that, what was going on last week? Was it New South Wales and Queensland? State of Origin. State of Origin. State of Origin. <laughs> if you are watching that on the replay, and just fast forward into the good bits, yeah, that is that is not the way you watch football. You don't watch football, rugby, rugby league. It's not real rugby, though, guys. I'm afraid. Sorry, sorry, guys. Is this <laughs> not real yeah. rugby, guys? Um, if you watch on the recording, it's never as, as good fun. So get here live. We are going to be on the second Wednesday of every single month. So put it into your diary, and. You know, we will have some awesome guests from Australia. We've got three of the best leaders in Australia joining us today. We've got recruiting rock star Claire Williams. We've Woo-hoo! got Zero to Hero Amanda Dalla Cruz. Hi. You don't love that name, Dalla Cruz. Does she sound Australian, Dalla Cruz? What an Australian name that is. And then we have a bowling champion who might be running a bit late. Oh, no, she's on here. We have I made it. I'm here. <laughs> She's here. I don't know what she did the other day, but she broke a record on her bowling. So I, what was it about? What did you do? I bowled a perfect game. I bowled a 300 yet last oh, night. Wow. Well, well done. done. I so saw in, that yesterday. You beat me, in my, I was 297 and I stopped. <laughs> in, in my 297 language. was my best before this one. So there you oh, go. Well. <laughs> so in my you just needed to keep that, going, Amanda. <laughs> in my language, is that like 10? consecutive strikes or what, what is yes. it yeah yeah yep. that's the whole 10 strikes in a row in one game so you, you, can, can you can't do any better yeah? i've never bowled ah. one that was my first one and i've been bowling okay. for 32 years so and imagine you've done 270 two, 297 you've done 297 amanda yeah 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 but that was a long time ago wow <laughs> Claire, uh, let's not. Claire, if there's ever a team night out and it's bowling, me and you need to just exit the building, okay? Absolutely, <laughs> I'm with you, Scott. <laughs> We're not getting shown up by these pair. No, I'm crap now. <laughs> <laughs> I end up going down the alley with the ball. <laughs> the gutter. For me, for me, I want the ball, I want the guards up, and then I might do three hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Give oh, the, the little ramp thing. The that little you ramp. <laughs> I'll get my 300 then. But um, thank you for joining us today. Like I said, if you're on the recording, we got bowling champion, champions on here. Jesus, guys, you've got to get on the next one. <laughs> um, so this is going to be something which is going to happen every single month. This is our first one, official one. We've done lots of Zooms before. And everybody is welcome. But we're going to share some great tips for every single Zoom. So come in, have some fun, um, learn some knowledge. We've had, we had the UK one last week. That was really, really good. Got great feedback from that. Got great feedback from the Kiwi one. Um, so here, it's your turn. I know everybody's welcome, but I want to kind of make, you know, the Australian community, because I've done it with the UK and Australia. Oh, but that's very UK-ish. So this is all about you Aussies. Like last week was all about you Kiwis. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to hand you over to, you know what? They might be bowling champions, but you're the recruiting champion, Claire. Okay? So I'm going to hand you over to um, Recruit Rockstar, top recruit in Australia so far this month. How many recruits this month, Claire? Three so far. Three? Mm. Three. So three recruits so far. Just let me add Ju- Judy Baker. Three recruits so far for Claire. And if I'm honest with you, I've seen this lady. I've seen Claire, and this is inspiration for anybody. Claire is 60 years of age, or 61 now, maybe. I don't know. 60 oh, years I'm not. She's 60. <laughs> Healing a year. 60 oh, years no, of age. Years a lot, I guess, when you're 60, Claire. My apologies. Okay? 
60 years of age and has this time last year I would be working with Claire and she would she'd have a good team but it was probably just Claire's voice if I said to Claire go te- do a team zoom zero people probably would turn up or one Kim's on here Kim would turn up you'd have Kim okay one year later this lady has built a community where she does a team zoom and she gets a good number of people in it, which I've seen. And that's because she has been building her team wide and she's built such an awesome community of like-minded people who are doing great things. So anybody, anything is possible in this business. And, you know, Claire went into lockdown and Claire's business basically unlocked and it exploded. So I'm going to pass you over to Claire. I'm going to mute everybody else, including myself. I can't believe he's muted himself. <laughs> okay, so um, like Scott said, um, he's been working with me for a long time now. And um, he's in a funk with recruiting like we all have them i've been there so many times and it's 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 your state of mind um your perspective that you need to change and i think the biggest thing um that helped me was when sensi actually introduced the um the host exclusive kit um that is amazing if you're not using it you need to use it but i'll go into that in a minute so your state of mind i used to um go to a party and i would be standing there and my in my head would be saying talk about recruiting talk about recruiting you need to talk about recruiting and it used it became this huge thing and you know what? It really isn't. Um, we think, like I hear so many times a day, nobody wants to join and nobody, you know, are you actually asking enough people every day? Ask yourself that to start with. And what sort of attitude, when you're speaking to people, just remember that you, they're not doing you a favor by joining your team you're doing them a huge favor because you're offering them the same opportunity that Matt Goodwin offered me four and a half years ago. And now look, um, it did take me a while to realize, even with Scott constantly in my ear, you do need to keep recruiting. It's the most important part, like your PRV is important, um you know um everything's important but recruiting is what starts you moving up the ladder and um so i'll ask again are you actually talking to at least a, a minimum of five people a day i know i wasn't and i kept saying to scott i can't recruit i can't i can't and he kept saying how many people are you talking to every day? Eventually it sunk in and now I do. And then thank God Sensi bought in the host exclusive kit. That has been a total, total game changer for me. Um, I had to actually write down what I was gonna say tonight because we've only got 10 minutes each and my team know I can talk till the cows come home so I actually did write stuff down um so yeah um and I think another thing that I learned to do along the way was actually asking a question you hear the saying all the time go for the no go for the no um but what if someone actually does say no to you what do you say to them so I've now got to the point of and it did take me a long time but trust me this works um scott do you mind me asking you why you've said no is it um is it a no never or is it a i'm pretending you're a recruit scott (laughs) 
okay? Is it a no, you never want to join? Or is it maybe the time's not right? Now, when they give you their reason, um, and they will, they'll give you a reason, you can help them overcome the reason. Um, you would have already found out why they need the, why do you need to join Sensi? Like, why would you need an extra income, Scott? Um, I've got to make the bills. I've got to make ends meet at the end of the month. I, I need to pay for my bills and give my kids some fun. Exactly. And you know what? This is the perfect way to do it. Um, now, just because it's not right for you now, do you mind if I contacted you again in the future? Maybe oh. when we have a special kit on or... Oh, please. Yeah, happen? please let me know. Keep, me, keep in touch with me. And you never know, my circumstances might have changed in the new year. Now, guys, that sounds like it was very staged. It actually wasn't. But people will come back with excuses like, I haven't got time, or I work full time, um, I've got young kids. Well, look at Carly Summit in our team. And Kim, um, Kim doesn't work full time. Well, she's starting to work full time with her Sensi. But Carly Summit has a full-time job in the Defence Force. She's got two kids under two. Her husband is away in the Navy all the time. She's in the Navy too. Now you tell me, her excuse was never, I haven't got time. She just jumped straight in. So never look at someone and assume that they don't want to do what you're doing. They may just be um, scared to ask. And the worst thing you can do at a party is not to ask everybody. When it's shopping time and they come over and they sit down with you, um, take, you know, they may have said something during the demo that you can pick up on. Um, they may, you know, have said, oh, they love the diffusers, but they can't afford them. Talk to them about joining. Talk to them about getting it with rewards. Um, but be yourself. Don't overwhelm them with a huge story about how wonderful sense is being for you. Can you yell at me when I've got to stop, Scott? I, I'm, I'm learning. I'm okay. learning. You, I'm learning. Um, yeah. Um, don't look at someone at your event and think they wouldn't want to do this. Why wouldn't they? I recruited someone recently that I met in what I belong to a couple of networking groups and event groups. And um, there was a lady in there and she's been, she's part of the group, but she's always watching when I do a live. She always comes up and talks to me when I um, am doing a live event, like a face to face. And um, she's a beautiful lady. But she has her own business as well. Anyway, she passed a comment on the last virtual expo that we did and she ordered something. And so I took the ball by the horns and I just said to her, why don't you get your own account? Do you know what she said to me? I've got some huge expenses coming up in December and January and I've been thinking about doing this but wasn't quite sure how to go about it. And she signed up the next day. So just don't, and this lady, um, she's older than me. Um, she's a beautiful lady. She's fit into the team so well. She's 45. And, um, sorry? She's 45 years of age. <laughs> oh, I love him. Sometimes <laughs> he says nice things. Yeah, so, but don't, um, like face to face is always the best way to go with recruiting. Be confident, share your enthusiasm and get them in, go for that no. Um, but you've also got buy swap sell sites. Now I know Kim and I'm pretty sure Michelle in my team um, post on there regularly. Now you may not get any interaction, but eventually when people, and I know Amanda does, when people see you constantly posting, they think, oh, that's that sensey. Like, I might just ask her what this is actually all about. And then, bam, 
once you've got their interest, send them out a um, enrollment pack, uh, not an enrollment pack, an information pack, and away you go. Don't be afraid to share what we do. Um, I know this is, sounds very cliche, Sensi has literally changed my life. Look at me, 60 years old and living the dream. I tell everybody that, I love it. I've just learned my fourth overseas trip at where, you know, so it's not, that's why I'm saying don't look at someone and say they may not be wonderful because you don't know what they need until you ask them. Um, your business page is another good way. Always be regular with um, recruiting on your business page, your VIP page, buy swap sell sites and use that host kit. I have parties. I actually, Jen Audet posted something yesterday and I thought it was a brilliant idea. She, like we all know that we need to have a party open every month. I've always got a couple of parties sitting open without a hostess that I can offer to people to join. And Pat does it too. <laughs> Pat's, Pat has coaching calls with me, so I've got her doing it as well. And Pat's rocking it now. Pat's got a team of five. Anyway, um, where was I going with that? What was I saying? <clears throat> Host kit, yeah. Um, so Jen Audette has a, um, always has a party on her website called Place Your Order Here. And so when they go onto your website and they click parties and it says, place your order here, um, I always used to put, you know, like Claire's basket party or Claire's November party. But she has place your order here. And if they're all putting orders into where it says place your orders, how quickly are you going to end up with a hostess kit up for grabs? So has anyone got any questions? No? My team hear me talking about this stuff all the time. Um, but yeah, I, recruiting really, you need to... Recruiting used to be a big bugbear for me. It worried me that I, when I used to go into a funk that I couldn't recruit and Scott used to say, and that, that's ridiculous. Just get on and do it. And I do. And- Some nug Sorry, finish Claire, yeah. sorry. Carry some on. nuggets, some nuggets from Claire's call, okay, which I really want you guys to listen into here, is people often when recruiting, as Claire said early on, they feel like, you know, you're building your team, you're building your business, so you want them to join your team to build your business, okay? When, if you do what Claire says, it's all about Claire. So she said it, if not, so, if Nat Goodwin did not ask Claire to join her team, okay? Claire would be earning her fourth trip right now. Yeah, she wouldn't be earning regular income every single month. And she wouldn't have the community which of friends and, and sensi family which she has. Yeah. So Matt Goodwin offering Claire that opportunity has given Claire opportunity. Okay. Weddings, seeing family in the UK. I can add that to it. And if it wasn't for Sensi, that would not have happened. I so think when my you go biggest, biggest thing was paying for my second daughter's wedding dress with a one page. Yeah. So, so when you think about it, when you're asking people and you're scared to ask people or you're feeling insecure to ask people, think of that story of Claire. Think about what she's achieved and think about you're asking somebody who could then also achieve that. I always say it. My favorite saying is, if you're not asking people to join your team, you're being selfish. If you've got customers... If you've got customers and you're not asking them to join your team, you're being selfish. You're not offering the opportunity. And I mean that in and a nice way. treat your top customer. Whoever yeah. buys off you regularly, regularly buys off you month in, month out, they're your perfect new teamy. They could be getting all this stuff that they're paying for for free or half price. 
And it used to bother me, and I think it bothered you too, didn't it, Amanda? Recruiting your top customers. But Amanda's, Amanda's coming up next, and her story's amazing. I can't wait to hear it. But yeah, don't be afraid of recruiting. Change your mindset, and just remember, you're offering them a golden nugget to change their life. And I'm a 60 year old living, breathing proof that it can change your life. Yep. And one last, before we move on to Amanda, one last golden nugget from Claire's talk is don't ever close an order without offering the opportunity of the host care. Okay. Yeah. Don't ever, um, sorry, I'm going close. Don't ever close an order without offering the host care. So, Hi, Alexandra. The, the general debt tip of the party, you're going to get, you know, you're going to get the opportunity to offer a host kit. So never, ever close an order without offering on social media or to those people on the fence. So thank you very much for that, Claire. Some awesome tips as usual. 60 years of age and smashing her business. Yeah. So take some, I'm very inspired by it. Jeez. You know, Thank so you. I'm sure many other people are. Thank you very much, Claire. Okay, Amanda, I'm going to mute myself now. Your go. <laughs> <laughs> so next we're going to hand over, hand over to, I, I love this lady because I do these courses and I often wonder, are people actually listening to what I'm saying? Okay. And I bang on, I bang on, I bang on, I bang on, I bang on. And then this lady was on a course in May um, I can't remember what it was called. Momentum in May, possibly, or something like that. Yep. I don't know. Some crazy name. You told me all my story. <laughs> Sorry, I won't say anymore. No, and no, what no, I no, saw... no. <laughs> and what I saw was this name, Dalla Cruz. Now, we live in Spain, so the name Dalla Cruz is very popular. So I'm like thinking, what? where's this name coming from? It keeps popping up. She's very sociable. She keeps recruiting. The sales are crazy. And this lady turned out okay i'm, I'm not gonna tell you anymore because she's probably gonna tell you that okay yeah. so she's a fine example of if you've just cruising in your business or you're just plonking in a few orders here and there and you're just using it as a hobby business which is absolutely fine you can also turn it around even if you've been in four or five years you can turn it around and amanda's story is going to show you that you can turn it around. So without me telling Amanda's story, I'll let Amanda <laughs> tell her story. So here she is. I'm going to meet myself now. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Um, okay, for those that don't know me, which probably isn't very many of you because I am quite loud and out there, my name's Amanda Dela Cruz and I'm a director in Brisbane um, here in Queensland. Um, I am a mother of seven. I work full time and I'm just going to move this over because all I can see is Scott. Yeah, and I work full time um, and I also work full time in my sensi business. <laughs> no, um, as Scott said, I did join in May 2019 um, and I actually deactivated in December 2019. Um, I did nearly deactivate prior to that, but I I talked up, um, I talked to Sensi and, and got it extended and then ended up getting deactivated the next month, month anyway. Um, so then I was reinstated in April and what happened was, um, I think, um, yeah, Nat, Nat, um, invited me to this momentum in May, in May, and I still have the conversation screenshotted because it cracks me up. It cracks me up so much about it. I, Scott had given a task in the momentum in May, a goal of getting 1000 PRV and two recruits. And I said, I had posted on that post, um, I haven't even, sure, I'm in, bring it on. Not that I've ever, ever reached 200 PRV in one single month in the year that I've been doing Sensi, um, but I'll give it a go. Anyway, that month I ended up getting 2,230 PRV and I recruited nine teamings in that month of May. So I went from a girl that who couldn't even, stay active couldn't even get 200 prv um into a girl that has uh 
like got 2,230 PRV. Um, that month I also triple promoted. So I went from a essential consultant to a lead consultant. So then the next month I thought, this is pretty good. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Beforehand, I was purely a hobbyist. I had no intention of doing the business ever, ever, ever. I was a kidnapper. I joined on a really cheap kit, the $34 kit, and I had no intention of doing this business. After I saw my paycheck in May, I went, hang on a minute. I can make some money with this business and it's only just starting. So in June, I did the um, Leap into Lead course, even though I already was a lead consultant. Um, I, I'm a freshie, so I did that. And I managed to get 3,404 PRV. And I think two recruits that month as well. Um, then my recruits was getting all, they were all getting shooting star. They were getting sensational start. I, I actually am very jealous that I um, didn't do that in the beginning. Um, they all have these beautiful warmers that I, I can't get. <laughs> um, but I was mentoring them and I was actually learning because I had never ever watched a training video in the whole time that I had had been act oh sorry the whole time I'd been a consultant that year prior so I was learning with my teamies so it was really good um, and then um, in July we did the rising stars course so these were people um, from from star and above because I had promoted to star yes yes I had promoted to no, yeah, star in June. Um, and then in July, so remembering I really only started in May 2020, um, in July I promoted to director. So in three months I had promoted to director. I had a team of 16 when I promoted to director and I was averaging around three and a half thousand PRV a month. So what changed? Not only did I get the um, encouragement and um, goal setting and momentum from being in these um, courses with Scott and with other people, um, my mindset completely changed. I started doing training videos and I actually started using the product. Surprise, surprise, what happens when you start using the product? Um, you, the people, this is like the people from Apple who sell Apple phones don't walk around with Samsungs. You know, if they're trying to sell Apple phone, they're going to walk around with their Apple phones because they, they need to know about the product and they need to be able to promote it. Um, I have changed my life completely. My, like, like I do not have any other washing products in my house except for my Scentsy washing products, um, same as my cleaning products. I would get onto my um, VIP group every single day without fail. I have been a little bit slack since I've been back in the office, but I'm still getting on regularly. Um, but every day I would get on and I would either show what orders had come in or I would show um, a wax change or I would do a video a lot. And this is all live videos. Um, I'm very extroverted. If you don't want to do live videos, you can record yourself or you can do something without showing your face as well. Um, you can just quick, quickly, don't even have to talk. You can just do a wax change without um, even talking and just showing people. Um, one of my rock stars who I know is watching this right now, Jodie, um, she had never ever bought a Scentsy product. The first time she bought a Scentsy product was when she joined. She had been sitting quietly watching my group, watching my VIPs and saw me oozing and, and just loving the product so much that she decided to join. Um, and her very first product was her kit. So um, that just shows you sort of what enthusiasm I get in my VIP page, uh, group, sorry, not page. Um, so as I said, I just started in May 2020 properly um, and I managed um, to get the Grow with the Flow incentive. So realistically, I only really worked May and June um, for Grow with the Flow and I managed to get level three with that. So it's never too late to get on to the incentives as well. Um, I'm really blessed. I've worked really hard and my team's worked really hard and I've managed to get two tickets to Fiji so far and I'm really close to my third. So that will be my goal. And um, with speaking about goals, um, I every month I sit there, I have a whiteboard that I sit in front of every day with my monthly goals. And I don't just put goals um, that I know that I can achieve. What I actually do is I set my goals higher than I expect to get because it makes me like 
like work to it and like so like monthly I normally set my goal to 5,000 PRV because that that's what I want to get and I have five little check boxes beside it and every thousand PRV I tick it off and and then I I'll shout about it I'll, I'll, I'll tell Scott how I'm going I'll tell Nat how I'm going I'll tell Claire how I'm going um, I, it, my love language is recognition and um, I love people knowing that I'm doing well because I feel really proud of myself and that's what I do um, so yeah so I managed to get three month consistency with being um, a director which was really exciting um, and then last month October um, I didn't hit my director numbers I actually thought I'd be devastated about it but then I thought about it even harder and I thought hang on a minute I've got a team of 20 at this stage I only had 26 in my team and we were hitting director numbers consistently for three months and then we'd missed it last month and I actually thought I'd be devastated about it but I knew that I had put in a hundred and ten percent effort I knew that I had you know tried to recruit every day I spoke to my five people every day if not more um, last month we were doing um, a bigger recruiting um, challenge thanks Claire um, and then um, and and you know I was getting my sales I was going through my VIP group and 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 getting those sales so it's never too late um, for you to start your business. If you no longer want to be a hobbyist or you want to, you know, earn those incentive trips, you want to um, earn that director title and superstar director title, because that's what we're all aiming for at the end of the day. Um, you know, it's never too late to start your business. Um, as I said, I'm a mum of seven. Yes, seven. And I work full time and I still manage to um, get this three month, um, sorry, get my director in three months. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. That's it. Thank you for that. Um, can everybody hear me again? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that, Amanda. I'm seeing some Cherie Burley giving you a good, good clap there. Claire's giving you a good clap. Mm -hmm. I can't see anybody else. They're the two on my front screen. Um, but no, thank you. Very, look, this business, I always say, is really, really simple. Yeah, and it really is. And Amanda is, I can talk more about Amanda now. She's now she's told her story, so I don't tell it for her. She's a fine example if you're only putting in two or 300 PRV a month. Now, you can still turn that around. You can start to build your full-time business. And something which you're going to hear, if you want to become, if you want to be a success in this business that anybody can be, you're going to hear the same things again and again. You're going to hear me talk about it. You're going to hear Claire talk about it. You're going to hear Amanda talk about it. You're going to hear your sponsor talk about it, your director talk about it, whoever your director is. And something which Claire said and Amanda said on their route to success, and they both said it, they speak to a minimum of five people each day. Okay? It's vital for, for success. Lots of people are going to say no, but you need to be speaking to new people every single day. But Amanda's story is extremely powerful because if you are one of these people just 200 PRV a month and you just see it as a hobby, but you know, you maybe not enjoying your full time job at the moment, you want to start earning more of an income, then think of Amanda's story. And basically, the difference between Amanda being the person who turned out and Amanda being the person who became a director was purely based on taking action. Yep, that was the difference action believing in ourselves and if you listen to amanda setting goals now your goal does not have to be 5000 prv like amanda yeah amanda's goal was not 5000 prv in may it was 2000 prv but she started somewhere and she and she starts to go and i was on a call before this and i know this is not about me so i'm not going to ramble on too much but um it was with kim who i think is on the call and karen Karen says she wants to be a superstar, but Karen is a superstar consultant and she wants to be a superstar director next year. That is a big, big statement. But I said to her, that is a statement we made in this business. Yeah. And as we shot for it, we didn't hit it for four years, but it was always our main goal. Yeah. But as we went for that, our business grew. As we aimed for it, our business grew. We might not hit the goal, but our aim was there and our business grew because of it. So Amanda's example of 5,000 POV and always shooting for it, 
because it's a higher target that she actually thinks she'll get, that is the way you goal set. It pushes you out that extra bit further. So thank you for all those golden nuggets, Amanda. Now we're going to... No worries. <laughs> thank you. Now we're going to... I just add, Before we go to bed, let's just say hello to some people. We got Cherie. Give me a wave, Cherie. Hello, Cherie. We got Claire. We all know about Amanda. She's there. We got Jody Peroni. Is that an Italian name? Is that, I can't see your face, so you can't nod, but yeah. it's a beer here. But it's Hi, a, it's, it's a, Hi, Jody. Is your surname Italian? Um, yes, it is. <laughs> and you're in Amanda's team, yeah? Yes, I am. Yeah. Yep. She's amazing. Oh, my God. So we, we got a bit Show of your European. Face, we got a bit <laughs> oh of Spanish. And we, we got a bit of Spanish and a bit of Italian here. That's what I like. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I won't do my Italian accent. Mamma mia. We've got Kirsten. 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 Sorry, Kirsten. Hello, Kirsten. we got Sharon. Give us a wave, Sharon. I know it's not there. we got Pat. We all know Pat. That's... Congratulations on your team building, Pat. We've got Michelle under Kim. Hello, Michelle. Kim was talking about how awesome you were about half an hour ago. we got a vet who's going to be speaking next. We got Shona, Sensi Mama. Hello, Shona. Hi. Who else have we got? We got Wanda. Look at Wanda. And Hi, Wanda. When Amanda talks about using your products, you only have to look at Wanda's picture there. I don't think Wanda likes buddies for some no, reason. I don't think she does. I don't does. think she does. We got Sharice. Hello, Sharice. We got Kim. Got Hello, Kim. People. We got Sandy, who we can't see, but hello, Sandy. And we got Judy. And if I missed you out, it's down to technology, not down to me ignoring you. But I think we've got everybody. So I'm anyway, back to work. anyway, I am going to pass you over to Australia's bowling champion. Um, this lady is, oh my, and is an Australian bowling champion, but she's also really hungry. What I like about her, she is, she's competitive with herself, which is always a good trait. And she has lots of great value to share with you guys tonight. So I am going to pass you over. Did you unmute yourself, Yvette, or do I have to unmute? Yeah, yeah no, we're good. I'm going to mute myself and pass you over to future superstar director, Yvette Green. Hi, everybody. Um, so Scott basically wanted me to share my story about how basically COVID affected pretty much everything for me. Um, we own a 10 pin bowling alley, funny that. Um, <laughs> we actually took over in the uh, last financial year. So literally, you know, it wasn't very long that we'd taken over and COVID was not exactly something we expected to have happen. Um, so we got very lucky um, on that front. The fact that my parents, owned the bowl first so they're very lenient with things like paying the rent and all of that kind of stuff they put that on hold for us um and everything so that was um that was really good for us um but it gave me a chance to really push the sensi to its limits for me um basically my husband said it's now if you're going to do this and you're going to do it to the level that you want to do it, show me, show me now that you need to put that time and effort in because um, basically we got shut down. We didn't have a choice. We didn't have any cases in the area or anything like that. But once, um, once Australia and Queensland um, shut down, we got shut down. So we had zero income coming in but the bills don't stop when the income stops coming in, unfortunately. So that really put us for a turn. Um, I'd been working with Scott for over a year, um, working on that director title. He knows I was pushing for it for a long time. All of the courses, I 100% agree with Amanda. If you're not on them, you're missing out. You need to be on those courses. They are amazing. They, they have done the work for us to make it easier for us in the long run. So um, I have done pretty much every course that has been presented to me. Um, I like a challenge. That's, that's sort of what drives me. So um, 
a year ago around SFR time, I was working with Scott to hit director by SFR and I didn't get there. I met Scott at SFR. I sort of felt like I had let both of us down, but then sort of realized that no, I was, I was stuck on star and that just sort of seemed to be, there was nowhere else to go from star consultant. I couldn't get any closer or any further. And I sat there for a year um, and just kept doing the same thing over and over. Um, so to me, uh, I know a lot of people don't like COVID, but it's been my best friend. I will on be completely honest, COVID has been my best friend. So when my husband said, right, what are you going to do? He actually came up with the idea to start me off. He said, surely you've got a list somewhere and you can print out every person who's every bought, ever bought off you and go back and start from that. So that's what I did. I went into my workstation. I downloaded the whole entire um, sheets of everybody I'd spoken to in the last three years. I've been, so I've been doing it for three years. So I went all the way back to March, 2018 and I started there. Um, I literally contacted everybody um, to see how they were going. Did they need any more products? Um, all of that kind of stuff to start off what is now my follow-up system, which is my happy mail. Um, something that I didn't have in place before they would just order off me. And then, you know, if they happen to come up in my Amy or which I'm very, very slack at um, checking my Amy, but I have my new follow-up system. So that's been working in my favor. Um, so the happy mail, basically I set my happy mail for three months. So I try to somewhat spoil, like I don't go out of budget. And obviously this is something that you have to look at what you can personally do. Um, at the moment, like you don't stretch yourself any further than you have to, but it doesn't have to be much either. Just even a simple note in the mail, people love it at the moment. It, it doesn't have to be anything super special. So I went back through um, and so basically started my happy mail with whoever ordered in April. So the people prior to that, they weren't on this list. They didn't, um, they didn't know about it. Nobody knew about it. I just started fresh. Um, in April and I hit superstar consultant by going through, just by going through this list, I promoted. It's, it was that like, that's just how easy it was to, to get those people reordering cause they had forgotten about me. I had forgotten about them. So it was getting um, Sensi back into their life so that they could then start using it again and start ordering. So um, yeah, in April, I hit superstar consultant. So I was so excited that I'd finally made this leap from somewhere that I had been stuck for a whole, like for over a year, I'd just been stuck. Um, so that was really, really exciting. And then, so my first lot of happy mail go goes out. Um, everybody, I think it started with about 30, maybe 40 people on the list. Every month by this following up, I was having at least half of these people reorder just by sending out happy mail, not necessarily contacting them online or anything, but the happy mail would go out and they would message me or they would just put their order in just from receiving their mail. So at least half of these were reordering. And then I was adding by promoting Sensi online and buy, sell and swap is my thing. I don't have a lot of local customers, so it's all online mainly for me. I was adding 20, 30, I mean, when COVID was really, really bad for us in that um, May, June, July, I was adding up to 60 brand new customers to this happy mail list. So it got pretty extreme when you're sending out a $1.10 um, postage stamp for every single person. I think my max out amount went up to, I think I was sending 140 happy mails for the month. But that was money I was putting into my business um, from my Sensi pay to then reward my reward my customers for staying with me because then if they stay with me they're going to keep getting rewarded. Um, so then in May I hit director for the first time ever. I was so excited. To be honest, I actually wasn't going for director in that month, but my um, my sponsor hit director, and I knew that probably. 
uh, like a, a good chunk of her team was actually my team. So if she hit it, why can't I hit it? And I think I had about a week and a half left and I'm, I'm probably about 2000 TWV behind her or two and a half. So, um, that gave me that extra drive to go, well, if she's hit it, I want to hit it. There, there's probably not a lot of people out there that actually go to director the same month as their sponsor. So again, that was another little driving force for me to go, oh, I really want to hit this. So in a week and a half, I went from about 8,000 GWV to director. Um, and I hit it right in the last seconds of the month, put my last order in and I uh, had everybody else worried. And I'm like, I've got this. So, um, cool as a cucumber, but then I also hit my five month, um, director consistency and missed my six month consistency. Um, I wish I could say the same as Amanda and say, I put my all into that month and I wasn't disappointed to miss it, but I can look back and go, that was a not my best month. I didn't put all my effort in. My team was lower because I wasn't putting my effort into my team. So it made a massive difference there. So um, I was disappointed. I was down on myself on the day. But the next day I said, you know what? That's what I did wrong. That's well, not necessarily wrong, but like that's the month I had. I went on a week holiday with my kids and I didn't put any effort in while I was there. Just thinking that I would glide on by and it doesn't work like that. So many people think that they can just do nothing and not pay attention to their team and it's just going to keep coming but you've you've got to pay attention to your team you've got to pay attention to your business um and i realized that so um yeah that was that was on me and so now i'm at it again um should hit direct numbers this month fingers crossed i'm close um and i've been putting the effort into the team um, talking with them, getting them more active in the team page and everything like that. So just quickly on my, um, on my happy mail, I actually send them out a newsletter each month. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but in the top here, it thanks them for, um, basically thanks them heaps for their, their recent order. Um, telling them if it's their last month, because I do it for three months. So I say, if it's your last month um, and you'd like to keep receiving it, then you need to place an order with me. And then I've also got, so if it's their first month, thank you so much for supporting my family and myself. Um, this second month, I ask them, how are they loving their products? And then on their third month, basically telling them, I'd hate to see them go. I really want to keep spoiling them. So um, basically asking them to, to, purchase again if they haven't in the last three months if they want to keep being spoiled um i then do a product spotlight on there as well so something if we've got a deal coming um i normally have on there uh something about the join kit and how they can join so obviously pop popping that in there for each of them and they're getting seeing that every single month and what we might be releasing during the month so that they've got all that information they're, they're getting it on the VIP group. They're getting it um, in the mail directly to them. Every month, they also get a cent of the month sample uh, from me as well. So every month, they're getting a sample of something new to try. Um, I then also like every single cent circle that comes into my house gets a thank you sticker put on it. So it doesn't even matter if they actually buy these from me or um, if they're sent out as a gift they're getting a thank you. So they feel extra special, um, thanked for their purchase or just thanked for being on my happy mail. The other thing I also do is I, nobody in my happy mail technically knows that it happens unless they've received it, but I do a draw. Um, so I get the, it helps me because I get the PRV, but I get the six pack in of the scent of the month. I use it for samples and then I always keep one wax bar and I do a draw from my happy mail. So everybody goes into that draw and whoever wins that gets an, a full bar rather than a sample sent out to them as a special gift. And those ones actually like to come back and they'll comment on my VIP page, how excited they were to receive. Um, and so other people are seeing more and more of that as well. Now if they don't order in the three months, um, time that I have the happy mail go out once they drop off on that third, fourth month I'm then contacting them directly 
hey, I've noticed you're off of the sensi uh, the Happy Mail. Did you, um, are you liking your product? Is there anything new you'd like to try? Just basically following up with them, seeing how they're going um, and things like that. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much keeping up with my customers and making them feel special so that um, they keep coming back to me and not going looking for anybody else to help them with their Sensi needs. And by them coming back is repeat PRV for me to keep me going. So I hope that that was helpful. Um, thank you, Scott. <laughs> thank you, Yvette. Um, powerful story there, once again. You know, Yvette, another fine example that you can turn your Sensi income into a livable income. Um, some golden nuggets from there. Yvette said, I basically got that to direct her by writing a massive list and contacting that list. Um, so when you hear we preach about the list of 100 guys, it really does work. You can think of people in your head and you can think of what you can do, but if you actually don't put it into writing, okay, most of the time you never do it. Okay. So I honestly that have, I've always thought that I have never made a list of 100. Can I, I'll, like, I'll be honest there. I've always thought that I've never, ever, ever done it. But then when you put it like that and go, well, your list is right there. It just took me grabbing that list and actually having it in front of me and using it. So your VIP group, your customers, everybody that you've ever spoken to, that's your list of 100 right there. So it's actually, it's right in front of you. You just have to realize where it is. So it's not necessarily finding new people, but yeah, having it right there. And the way I see like a list of 100, I don't know if anybody goes to the gym there. I could go to the gym with a workout in my head and not all that workout in my head gets achieved. But if I put that workout in writing and go to the gym with that workout in writing, then I go through it and it's all achieved. And that is like the list of 100. So Yvette, you can all thank Yvette for this one. Um, today's challenge is to write a list of 100 contact every single customer and share what's available with Sensi right now. And don't use the excuse that all oh, no, the products are out of stock. There's far more ticks than crosses. Okay. We got to forget that excuse. People want one they, they, they can have. Yeah. So let's write a list of 100 and start sharing the products. Over the next year, there's going to be some massive growth in Australia for those who work here. You know, this business thrives in uncertain times. And yeah, I know Australia's not been hit like us in Europe with the good old COVID, but jobs have been lost. Businesses have been lost. There's a better, there's a fine example. And in this situation, fragrance also makes people happy. Fragrance is recession proof, guys. Makes people happy, but it's also an opportunity where people can earn that extra income. Yeah, people need to make ends meet and we have that opportunity. So what I want you guys to do, if you're listening on the recording too, is take the advice from Claire and start chatting to people. Listen to Amanda's story and go and say to yourself, I can do what she did. I'm going to do that. And take a vet story and how she looks after her customers and write in that list and put it into action. So you guys today have been really spoiled because you've got some recruiting advice got inspirational stories with some golden nuggets in and then you got a vet who also showed a story but also how you can put some action in with your customers so take the advice on board guys so anyway guys i'm gonna to have to finish up there because i do have another call in about three minutes but please come and join us on the next one in december you'll see these three smiling faces like four including myself smiling faces again where we will be sharing some you know, Claire's just, we've got, we've got to get Claire Williams on the online parties, Jesus. We've got to get her on those. Um, we are going to be mainly preparing for 2021 next month. So come and join us. I will put out the dates there at the beginning of December in the Emeralds. And come and learn from awesome people like Amanda, Yvette, and Claire. And put that knowledge into your business and help it grow. Enjoy your business now. Have fun with your business.
that is always the most important thing. So I'm going to say goodbye. I'll put the recording in. It probably will be this evening my time. Um, so share the recording with your teams or your fellow colleagues. And I look forward to seeing you guys in December. So hasta luego, amigos. Thank you very much. And thank everyone. you for coming. Thank you for coming. We're getting great feedback here. So thank you very much, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.